my dear Scorpios, and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading for the week of August the 10th up until August the 18th. Also, please do remember that this is a general reading and energies are fluid, so they take time to pick up pace depending on the situation at hand. So please be patient with the energies. And thank you so, so much to all of my current subscribers. I love you guys so, so much. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it at the end of the reading. This really helps to support me and my channel to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. So I am setting the intention right now for everyone who likes and subscribes to receive back 10 times more love, blessings, and abundance for your love and support. And for personal readings, I now have openings. So please do check the description box below. With Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. All right. Hello, hello, my dearest Scorpios. How have you guys been? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start calibrating to the energies of my dearest Scorpios. Thank you so much, my guides, my angels. Oh, okay. Somebody is missing the past. Somebody is feeling regretful here, whether it's you or the person that you are dealing with, but this just wanted to come out, okay? Someone is definitely feeling a little regretful this week, okay? Thank you so much, my guides, my angels, for providing any messages and guidance that my dear Scorpios are here seeking to find. Okay. Always remember that energies are fluid. So if I'm not talking about you, it's a possibility that I'm picking up on the energies of the person that you are dealing with or the situation at hand. So always, always take it as it resonates, okay? And this can also be for your sun, moon, rising, or your Venus placements. If those are dominant within your chart, please make sure to check those out as well. My dear Scorpios, you are starting this week with the dominant energy of the, wow, the Ten of Swords. Okay, I'm not liking this at all. And we did see regretful, you know, as I was shuffling. So whether it's you or this other person, I feel like this week somebody is definitely facing some kind of betrayal or will be facing some kind of betrayal, will be facing some kind of... um. It's sort of like your fears coming into reality, which I'm not liking this at all, okay? But let's go ahead and see what exactly is going on. Yeah, so the timing is definitely not in favor of this union at this moment, and I feel like it's for your protection, okay? Yeah, it's definitely for your protection. Here we have the world card, okay? This has come to full circle. Something has come to full circle. It does not mean that the relationship has to end for good, but it does mean that uh, this phase of the relationship has to come to a full circle, at least for the time being, at least for this week. Okay, yeah, so someone here is definitely needing some help. Someone is feeling left out in the cold, whether it's you or this other person, but whether it's you or this other person, you are not seeking the help that you need. It's like you want the help, you want some kind of help, but you are not willing to ask for it, okay? Whether it's from this person or this person from you, someone is being very, very, uh, it's sort of like prideful, prideful in their energy, not willing to um, go deep within their psyche, their emotions, even though this is necessary. This will be very, very necessary. But I do like that you are coming across very empowered. You are showing a side of you to the world, to this person that this did not phase you or this is not phasing you, okay? Whether this is you or them, you know, take it as it resonates. I do sense that you are cutting off some kind of an energy, okay? Here in the recent past, perhaps there was somebody who was very egotistical, okay? Maybe they, they misused, um, uh, it's like a misuse of, of energy, okay? It's like they knew a lot about you and they misused your vulnerabilities um, against you, whether, you know, this is them against you or you uh, doing this. But there is a misuse of, of, of vulnerability, okay? Now, I do sense that you are now ready to walk away, whether it's you or this person, but somebody here is ready for greener pastures. You're ready for something brand new, okay? Now, I am sensing that you know, uh, the root of the issue lies with somebody not being willing to drop this burden at the time um, that they needed to. It's sort of like you got a lot of signs, you got a lot of signals, but somebody was just wanting to hold on to a connection, wanting to hold on to some kind of union, okay, when it was very clear and evident that, it, you know, you it was ready for, for, for a new phase to start, okay? But let's go ahead and jump into your clarifier to see what exactly, um, I want to know why this Ten of Swords is here for my dear Scorpios. 
Yeah, so again, you know, I feel like there is a little bit of manipulation in this situation. Okay, somebody manipulated their way into your life. And um, yeah, you're ready to communicate that this is not for you. Okay, I do sense that there will be very, very quick, fast communication back and forth, back and forth, messaging, maybe phone calls. Okay, it's sort of like um, uh, you were not expecting this. Okay, but I do sense that this is all going to uh, come to a very beautiful, it's going to be a very beautiful outcome for you because you've been needing this this time off you've been needing this clarity and I feel like this avoidance it's sort of like more like avoidance you had been avoiding a truth okay and you are finally realizing that you know what I'm gonna have to communicate with this person if I want to get the truth revealed to me or if you want to reveal some kind of truth okay but I do sense that again a misuse of energy a misuse of information was used either against you or or you or you um, towards them take it as a resonance energies can be reversed but I do sense here that that somebody wants to avoid further conflict okay more than one person being involved in the situation you know want you, you do not want to involve more than one person okay you just want to uh, get it over with I do sense again you're coming in very very strongly here with this Empress energy you are coming in uh, in your power in your strength and ready to just kind of you know deal with it uh, however it needs to be dealt with I do sense that there will be some compromise that this person wants to reach but I'm not sure if you're gonna want to because I feel like uh, some kind of commitment some kind of um I feel like rebelliousness is is being tapped into in your energy I feel like you kind of feel like a little bit like rebelling like you know um, because you were looking for this beautiful ten of cups or at least you are looking for this beautiful ten of cups and this is what's gonna make this person realize okay that that they are missing out on you and I feel like they're gonna want to apologize after whatever it is you know that's gonna happen or that happened I feel like this person had a lot of fickle energy to them I feel like you were dealing with a person who is very very slow in coming and then when they did come they kind of gave things a big push right and then they would take back their energy and it kind of left you feeling like okay well what do you what, what exactly do you want is it that, that you want me but then I feel like this person was kind of um, misusing uh, some kind of um, your vulnerabilities the fact that you are so giving and so caring okay just to kind of keep you around all right but let's go ahead and see what exactly yeah I feel like you're very closed off this week you might be closing off your energy you might be closing off yeah cease this is not the end so there is unfinished business here still this person is not able to let you go however I do sense that uh, this this phase of this relationship has come to a full circle okay let's go ahead and see what else do we have here why is this um why is this world card here yeah see this person is going to apologize i feel like you are a little bit guarded you kind of want to take your time to see uh, exactly what this person wants with you because again I feel like you're being very cautious I feel like your energy is that of being cautious because this person was kind of um they had sneaky behavior it's sort of like they were with you but you kind of sense like they weren't with you fully does that make sense I feel like this person was kind of like um you know um a bit like hot and cold hot and cold okay and they weren't communicating very very clearly their, their communication was coming across as very vague okay and I do sense that um this person it right now is kind of like reading too much into your own energy because I feel like you've pulled away your energy so now they're like it's like they are um, they are coming across as like wanting to get information from you and you kind of feel like okay why are, why do you all of a sudden want my attention you know now that I'm taking it away does that make sense so I feel like you're very very guarded this week okay my dear uh, Scorpios but let's go ahead and see why exactly you are so worried yeah I feel like you're very very worried here with this nine of swords I feel like this is gonna be a very worrisome situation but a decision will be made this week definitely a very very clear-cut decision but let's go ahead and see yeah so justice will be served do not worry I feel like you are taking away your energy from this person but even though this is a soulmate connection you are dealing with a soulmate connection you guys are definitely divinely guided but there is something coming across your way this week where it's not letting either you or this person move forward and if it is moving forward it's moving forward very very slowly okay I feel like I'm at one point in the recent past you kind of felt like things were moving forward you were like yes finally things are moving forward you know you felt like this was a brand new start a brand new beginning and then all of a sudden all of these paradoxes all of these unresolved things started coming afloat started coming to the surface okay I feel like there's a lot of information that has not yet been available 
and it will be revealed this week, okay? I feel that in order to resolve it, you needed to wait a little bit, and I feel like you have already done the waiting, and this is the week where you might not uh, like what you hear, or this person might not like what they hear, okay, from you, but I do sense that this is all going to lead to some kind of justice. For some of you, could be dealing with a Libra. It doesn't have to be. I see all of the signs here, okay? Uh, maybe Aries. It could also be... Um, any of the fire signs, any of the air signs, any of the earth signs. Okay, but let's go ahead and see what exactly is going on here with this two of pentacles. What is this two of pentacles? Oh, wow, that one just flipped out. Okay, so four of swords in the reverse. Yeah, so you are not feeling like making any moves this week. You do not want to make any moves. You have to make a choice. There's a choice that you have to make, and it could possibly be leading you towards either monetary, financial stability, okay? Um, or it could also be the fact that this is going to lead you whatever decision you have to make this week is going to lead to some kind of major stability and some kind of connection because look what's at the bottom of the deck here we have the justice okay so it could possibly be either finalizing a divorce or maybe uh, finalizing a union okay it could be finalizing some kind of union and you have to make some kind of drastic decisions this week in order for this person to to realize your worth because I do sense that for some of you guys you will be moving on okay let's go ahead and see what the six of swords is why is the six of swords here yeah, so see, oh my God, some of you guys, there's a third party situation here involved, okay? And this person has been has been trying to get rid of this controlling energy, this third party energy, or maybe you are, okay? But I do sense that you are coming on, you are coming in very, very strongly here with the uh, King of Wands, okay? Some of you guys are dealing with a fire sign. Other, other, others of you guys could be dealing with a water sign, a Taurus, um, any of the water uh, fire signs here, but it doesn't have to be, it's just personality type. Types. I do sense that there is some kind of blocked energy here. I feel like there's somebody here is feeling very emotionally blocked this week and they're not ready for any kind of commitment, even though that's what either you or they want. I feel like that's going to end up being like the final round. You know, um, I know that this phase of this connection has ended, but look at here. This is a brand new beginning. This is a brand new beginning in love, a brand new beginning in a court, you know, courtship. Maybe you are starting to court this person or maybe they are starting to court you in the proper manner but I do sense that again something will be revealed this week something that you've been wanting to know I feel like um you just uh, I feel like for some of you guys you stopped fighting for this connection and the fact that you stopped fighting for this connection is going to make this person wake up and realize your worth because I feel like this person maybe was very foggy maybe they're dealing with uh, more than one person it doesn't have to be it could just be dealing with family matters dealing with career matters dealing with friendship matters you know and they were not giving you the attention that um that you are seeking but now that you are pulling back your energy i feel like this person is feeling very very guilty they're feeling very very guilty um because they did not uh reciprocate in the manner that 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 they that they should have okay and i do sense that again this is not the week for you to take any form of drastic um action towards this person unless this person comes in correctly but let's go ahead and see what the guides and angels have for you this week what do my guides and angels have for my dear scorpios this week what do my guides and angels have? Okay, indigo and crystal children. Yeah, so you are dealing with somebody who might have a lot of ch uh, childhood issues. Okay, creative writing. This is just telling you, you know, you should journal anything that you need to say to this person. Write it down on a piece of paper and let it all out. It's sort of like venting. Use this as sort of like your venting uh, material. Okay, now let's go ahead and get some guidance messages for you. What are the guidance messages? What do you desire? Yeah, I feel like right now you're just focused on what exactly it is that you want because this person was not really reciprocating. I feel like um, a lot of you guys are now focusing on yourselves, on your creative projects in order to manifest more um, more money, more, more financial stability, okay? And here we have, again, time to go. For others of you, it's just time to go. For others of you, you're like, you know what? This is, this is I've given enough to this connection and, uh, you know, it's the same go around, the same thing. And for the time being, I feel like right now it's time for you to go the sun sets and rises each day and it is the same with the avenues in your life see the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow endings are merely the start of a new beginning and we are with you through each phase and cycle so again endings are just a mere new beginning for some of you okay don't worry about anything i do like that you are 
standing in your power, standing in your strength. You're not showing any vulnerability at all, Scorpio. This person might be wondering, like, oh my God, you're over it already? Like, you look so strong. You look like you're over it. Like, maybe in your social media, you're posting stuff that's like kind of you're coming across as very very strong which is very good I feel like this is helping you overcome the situation okay so if you've been doing that keep doing that it's looking very very good okay but I do hope that you enjoyed your reading I do hope that it resonated let me know in the comments below if it did and let me know what's going on I really love reading all of your stories believe me I read every single one of your messages thank you so so much for sharing that in your comments below if you did enjoy this reading please do give it a thumbs up it really helps to support me and my channel and if you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe to my channel it really helps for me to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform um, without further ado thank you so so much for watching I love you guys so so much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.